Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Mr. Ruth here. Welcome to part two in how to make our Choco Break game. So we've got a cute little game here started. Um, first thing I'd like to do is it's, have you noticed it's kind of annoying to hit Alt F4 to exit out of the game? So why don't we put the escape key in? Escape key is fabulous. That's how I, if you're a computer guy, escape key is like the first way of trying to get out of something that you're stuck in. Okay, so um, this is going to be an event. As you can see, I'm in the event editor. Uh, there it is right there. And I'm going to add a new condition. I'm basically going to say, when I hit the escape key, shut the, shut the game down. So let's uh, right click in the new condition. And we're, this is a keyboard or a mouse event, right? A keyboard. Here's the keyboard. All right. Upon pressing a key. That's what we're going to do. We're going to press a key. And so I'm going to hit the ESC key. It's in the top left corner called the escape key. All right. Upon pressing the escape key, now we want to end our program, end our, our game that we started. And that should be in the storyboard section. Uh, yeah, you see this thing with the, the game playing? Let's come down here, right click, and... Here it is. It's the sixth one down. End the application. Cool. Okay. Um, now we should, uh, obviously, uh, our game is kind of missing some stuff here. Uh, specifically, it seems to be missing the bricks. So why don't we add some bricks in here? Let's go down to our, and, and by the way, to get back to this, I just double clicked on frame. Remember our little things here we have, this is the name of the application, this is our level or our frame, and then these are all the assets inside it. Okay, so what we need now is we need um, some bricks. So let's go to our library and look at remembers where we were. We were in the tutorial section and the chocolate break section. All right, and we're gonna use these uh, milk chocolate ones here, it's called milk. And let's uh, let's bring these in. Oh my gosh, where'd you go? All right, and we will just bring these guys in. Let's make a little row of these things. Da 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 da. Four, five. Six. Okay, so we got seven in a row. Now we want to build them going across the page. Uh, let's not make ourselves crazy here. Let's uh, highlight this, and we're going to do some copying and pasting. So if I do, if you remember your keyboard shortcuts, Control C, copy, and then Control V is paste. Control V, and um, you see the little plus sign. That's saying, hey, where do you want me to put this? So I'll put it right here. And uh, we'll just move it over a tiny bit. All right, and then uh, let's add some more. And now we already did the copy, so theoretically we should be able to do Control V again. And click again. And there we have it. And see, they're all selected, so we can move them all at the same time. And uh, let's uh, get these things going across the board. Okay, looking good. Control V. Yes, yes, yes. And I don't know, we'll just go till we run out of room. <laughs> In the tutorial, they tell you to make, I think, 12 rows. I don't see how we're going to have room for 12 rows. La, 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 la. And I don't know, does that look good? Maybe we should have one more row. Okay, I think, yes, let's stop now. All right, so that looks cool. We got our little, it's, it's a little, not that pretty, is it? Did I mess the middle one up? I did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't. Um, yeah, that's messed up. Can I highlight it and make it go away? 
Yeah, I can if I want to. All right, I'll delete that. Oopsie, oopsie. And we'll just highlight that. We'll bring that back up. And golly, golly, golly. I screwed that up good, didn't I? Well, you know, that's what Mr. Ruthier does. <laughs> uh, that's that's one of the ways I learn. <laughs> I do it the wrong way first. I I have done that all through my life. <laughs> I had some jobs where I really, really messed stuff up. And uh, but I learned. I learned from them. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, that looks terrible. Okay, I hope yours looks better. <coughs> All right. Now, what's the point of this game? Is we got to click, hit the bricks, they disappear, and we get points, right? So, let's go back to our event editor. See it right there? And let's add some events. Uh, specifically, the when the ball hits uh, the brick, the milk brick. All right, so let's create a new condition. Right click and say ball collision with another object, which is the milk brick. Excellent. Okay, now what do we want to happen? We want to destroy the milk thing, right? So let's come on over here. See the milk thing right here? Right click and there should be destroy somewhere. Oh, there it is at the bottom. Destroy. And would it not be nice if there was a little sound? So let's find, is there like a speaker or something? Yeah, there it is. All right, so we've been making sounds already. Let's make another sound here. And sample, play sample. And let's see, I guess we have to browse from a file for it. And it remembers where we were. It brings us to the Choco Break thing. And let's use the uh, impact2.wav file. Okay. Uh, now I know we're going to do points, but let's uh, save that for a few minutes. Um, one more thing I want to do is I want to make this thing look a little prettier. So let's double click on the frame again and let's give it a background. Now, uh, there's a special kind of background called a quick backdrop object. And what this does is it just sits in the background and it doesn't do anything and it doesn't interact with anything and nothing can crash into it, blah, blah, blah. And if you look at this sky object, that's what that is. So let's take the sky object, we'll drag it up, we'll cover this and it just sits in the background. And if you click on the sky, you can see it just sits there, doesn't do anything. It's just kind of a gradient. All right, so that's looking good. Why don't we test our game and see what it looks like at this point. Whoa! Okay. Do you get the feeling we forgot to uh, tell it to bounce off these things? <laughs> <laughs> it does speed the game up quite a bit. Okay, and we haven't made any condition for creating new ball yet either. So uh, let's hit the escape key to stop it. Um, so I'm thinking um, maybe we should make this thing so it, it bounce. Well, I don't know. We can, uh, well, let's try it. If we go back to our event editor, we can say when the ball hits it, let's have the ball bounce. And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens to that one. Okay, so now, whoa, the ball is kind of acting crazier now. So I don't know which one is better, but we can, um, we can try that one. If you like the other one, yeah, whatever. Okay, um, <clears throat> next thing we want to do, yeah, we're going to drink the water here. <coughs> Okay, is um, let's put a little scoring in here. So we are going to 
uh, add a scoring object. And uh, let's see, where's the scoring object? If I go to, up to insert, and we're just going to use, I'm not sure if the scoring object is in the library or not, but let me show you how to insert an object into the game. You do insert new object, and this is going to be part of games, and there we have the score. So we'll click on the score, and we'll say OK. And now it wants to know where to put it, so I guess we'll put it down here. So this is the score. And probably we should make this a little bit bigger. Um, I think I can do this. Oh, that's a really big. Okay, so there's our score. That looks nice. And uh, let's see, what else do we want to do? Oh, lives. Yeah, we should probably have lives in there. So let's insert lives. Insert new object. Games, lives. Okay, we'll put our lives over here, and by by default we get three lives, <clears throat> and you know you can set it to whatever you want, but three is probably good. All right, now let's go to our event editor and see what we can do with these things. Okay, um, so to make the score work. Uh, rawr, 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 rawr. All right, where is the player one object? Okay, so here's the player one object. And basically, when the uh, ball hits uh, one of those um, little milk bricks, you're going to get 100 points. So you can see we already have this condition right here. If there's a collision between the ball and the milk brick, Right under here, uh, there should be, is there a score thing here somewhere? Oh joy, uh, let's see, movement, position, ah, uh, where are you? Where are you? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well this is embarrassing. Um, I don't see the score object. How is that supposed to go in there? Well, I goofed on that, huh? Um, under the player one object, do I have the right? <laughs> oh, I I used the player object. Okay, how about this one here? Player one, that's you. That's the person. Okay, so let's try this. Right click here. Oh, there it is. Isn't that nice? Okay, so we are gonna when we do that, we're gonna add to our score, and then it brings up this marvelous uh, like calculator thing, and we could do all kinds of weird things. But we're just gonna put a hundred in here, and say okay. So now we get a hundred every time it hits one of those milk bricks. Whew, that was a close one, Mr. Ruthier. Nearly completely failed there. I know you'd enjoy that. Uh, all right, next lives. All right, how do we lose a life? Well, in the game, when the ball goes off the bottom of the, the screen and we lose it, you lose a life. So, let's check that. Let's do that. Uh, all right, so we want to say when the ball leaves the screen. So let's right click here and we'll say we're going to test the ball and we're going to test its position. And we're going to say, hey, are you you know, where are you? All right, so we'll test its position. And specifically, we don't need to test the sides or the top because it can't go there. It can't pass those little candy cane things we have. But it can go down the bottom. So we will, uh, let's see here, we will say, what is this one? Enters in the bottom. Okay, and we'll say, okay, so here we go. When the ball enters the play area on the bottom, then we want to lose a life. And this is you, the player one. So we'll right click and hope it's here. Number of lives. And we're going to subtract one from the lives. All right, so let's see if this works. Let's try our game out. I have seven. Ah! And 
actually. That didn't seem to work, did it? I still seem to have three lives. I did get 200 points, but unfortunately, I hit two bricks and I only got... Oh, no, no, that was correct, because I got 100 for each. All right, so that's good. But I didn't lose a life. Why, why, why? Um, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> so I have... Dang. All right, well, I might have to fix that in the next video. What do we have in here? Subtract one from the number of lives. Let's just try it once more. And it doesn't... Okay, well, at least we got the score working. And so in the next video, we'll make sure the lives are working properly. But we'll stop here for right now so I can, <laughs> kind of I can figure what's going on. Okay, thank you, good work, and uh, keep working. Uh, I have to hit escape to get out. Okay. Awkward silence here. Ta-ta.